What is up CG fans, in this video I'm going to show you what an HDRI is, where to get them and how you can use them to achieve realistic lighting in Blender. If you found this helpful make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this. Without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. So let's start off with what an HDRI is. HDRI stands for High Dynamic Range Image. Dynamic range is simply the difference between the lightest and darkest areas in an image. This is measured in stops. A higher dynamic range means a better looking image, with less loss of detail from high or low brightness areas. Typical cameras can only shoot at a certain maximum amount of stops, so to get a higher dynamic range, multiple images are taken at different exposures and then combined into one. In the case of our HDRIs, they are also 360 degree images which is usually achieved with a special lens or by stitching multiple images together. We can use these HDRIs in Blender to get full 360 degree lighting and reflections just like the real world, which is why HDRIs are an easy way to get realistic lighting. Enough theory, where can I get one of these from? You can find HDRIs all over the internet but the place I recommend is hdrihaven.com. I will leave a link to the website in the description below. This site has a ton of 100% free high quality HDRIs that you can download right away. So go ahead and download one that fits your scene and now let's actually set it up in Blender. So to start off I'm going to go up to the shading tab so we can view the nodes and then I'm going to change it for, from object to world so we can actually see the world nodes. So now in the world panel I'm going to change the color value to environment texture and now you can find your HDRI so I'm just going to use this one and just wait a bit and there we go so we can see it now now so if you want to change the rotation or the scale of the HDRI we can use that by adding in a mapping node so with the node wrangler add-on enabled uh, you can go up to edit preferences and then you can search for Node Wrangler and make sure it's enabled. And then you can click on the HDRI node and go Control T. And that will automatically add in the mapping node and texture coordinate for us. So now you can play around with the values. Like if I want to rotate a bit, I can go and rotate it on the Z axis. And you can see it rotates there to change multiple values all at once. In my opinion the easiest way to do this would be going shift A and adding a value node. This isn't too useful here as you can see but it's quite handy to know uh, when you're using texture nodes in general. If you are looking to hide the HDRI for the camera view it's a different process for both EV and cycles. In the case of cycles, it's just an easy checkbox. So come here and then ray visibility and disable camera. And as you can see, the HDRI is gone from the camera view, but we're still getting the lightings and reflections. So I'm going to re enable that. It's a bit more difficult in uh, EV, but it's still, it's still pretty easy. You just got to add a couple notes. So I'm going to add a mix shader node. Oops. And it drop that in. And then I'm going to add a light path node. Now we can drag the is camera ray output into the vac input. And then you can see it's disappeared from the camera view. One common mistake that I see a lot of new Blender users making and one that I used to make is not adding in any support lamps to go with your HDRI. While the HDRI definitely helps with the realism and you should probably be using one in most cases, it still usually needs some lights to back it up. So make sure you are adding area lights or whatever you need to to achieve good lighting in your scenes. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and YouTube Analytics tells me that only 7.3% of my viewers are subscribed. So the best way to motivate me to create more content is to make that percentage higher. So if you want to see more quality videos like this one, be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.